Hey guys, it's time for a brew. Ah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, today's brew is Lady Grey, and you can actually read it. Yeah, so glad I changed the camera uh, switch there, because then you guys can actually read if I throw a label up there, right? So, today was pretty good. I mean, an all-around really good day. Uh, it was a normal work week, Monday through third, or Monday through Wednesday, and then, as I mentioned in my last video, watched. I think I mentioned it. Goodness, I don't know if I did or not. Oh man, I'm just I'm awful. Anyways, watched some fireworks last uh, on, on third Wednesday night. Uh, I'll get. We'll get this eventually, and it was gr it were great fireworks. Went for like an hour and twenty minutes. Some local guy. I mean, well, he owns a local business, so I mean. Apparently business is good that he can go fireworks for that long. Uh, I got to talk with the neighbor for a little while. She's amazing. She's such a nice person. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, so that was fine. So then I had Thursday off, which is great. Uh, but at the same time, though, we came back and um, had, had, a, had to work Friday today. So I didn't work on normal hours. It's just weird. I mean, it was just flat out weird, you know, to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, have Thursday off, work Friday, off Saturday, and obviously off Sunday. It just, it just, it threw me off. I mean, my my days have been now I feel just really messed up. Like it's like today, like yesterday felt like a Saturday, right? And then today, uh, it is like, oh, okay, it is a Friday because all the Friday things happened, and. And now we're to Friday evening, but let me give you an insight to today and why it was such a good day of all things, right? Uh, I had a buttload of change. Uh, I don't think you guys could see it in my videos. I sit here, and it was just back here, and I had a buttload of change from when I was a kid, and uh, my parents got that to me, and I was like, I really need to take care of this. I'm tired of it sitting around. But I was under the impression for the longest time that if you had a bunch of rolled change, that it was a really big problem trying to get it to the bank. Because uh, it used to, again, I was under the impression that it was a big hassle. What I was told was you had to write your name, address, and phone number on every roll. Of course, I wouldn't do that. I'd find some sort of labeling program and put stickers on all that, all right? I'm not doing. I'm not sitting around writing all those. You know how many? I can't. I can't even tell you how many rolls I had because there's just so many. Uh, to the point where I like backbreaking, ball busting, trying to lift that pile. Uh, change gets really heavy once you get enough of it. But but I suffered through. I got it. Got it in the car. Got to the bank, and got that all taken care of, and such a really nice teller about uh, about the whole thing. I felt awful because I brought in all this, right? And they just had, I mean, I know she had initially had this look in her eye like, what? what? What is this guy doing? What is he? Oh dear, what is he bringing in here? And so, and I tried to help kind of separate things and uh, we got through everything. Was a lot had a lot more change than I thought I did. Um, I would say I was about. Well, I, I, I'll be honest. I was half off. That's how good of a. I mean, that's how good of a day. I mean, I to think think about it. If you took a bunch of change to the bank and then all of a sudden you're like you're thinking you had. Let's use an example. Let's say you thought you had a hundred dollars worth of change and they tell you that you had like two hundred two fifty. You'd be like. Like, oh, that's amazing, and 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 that's exactly how I felt. I was just like, oh my gosh, I didn't. Because she asked me, she said that said the amount before she even got to the loose change. Because I had loose change as well as I had some rolled. She's like, well, after counting these, shut up, phone. I'm busy. Every time, every time I record, this is what happens. Uh, but she's like, well, the rolled here comes out to this amount. Does that sound right? Which I it was a perfectly honest question, right? I was like, well, yeah. I mean, I I will, okay. I'll, let me let me give you a little bit better. 
So this they saw this call comes out to this much. I didn't even know there was that much there. She's like, well, let, let me go. Okay, well, that, that, that's good. That's good. And let, let me go check the let me go check the loose change. Walks away. Come back. Gets it all, you know, calculated up. She's like, well, here's the amount. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I was so happy. I was so happy. I was like, that is amazing. It's amazing. I had no idea. So, yeah, so we got that. And she's like, well, how would you like this? With mayonnaise and pickle, please. What are you, what are you asking, you know? And then, of course, you know, right away, dawned on me. That was just a stupid joke. Whatever. Hit like if you like that one. If you like that joke. Hit like anyways. And I was like, well, no, 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 no. Just, just, just put it in my account. Oh, well, sure, I can do that. Because she sounded kind of disappointed. Or not disappointed, but kind of like, ugh. You're going to want dollar bills for this. Dad made a perfect joke. He said, you just tell her you want it in quarters. Jeez. Such a dummy dumb. So it was fantastic for that. Um, so we got done with all that and got out of there and went and picked up lunch uh, and brought it back brought it back to work. And But one of the things that happened while I was there picking up my food, they talked about a restaurant somewhere around here that they were intentionally rude to you. Intentionally rude. Like... I've never heard of a such thing. So they'll, they'll put a, they'll put like a hat on you, and it'll have like a, you know, a name on you, and it could be like really rude or lewd or like, uh, I mean, like in sexual ways and just, just all around, just like kind of mean, you know. I mean, that's probably like jerk, slut, douche canoe. I don't know, just stuff. And they will just like, if you ask for soup, they might be like, "There's a fork," and walk away. It's like, what? I told him I could not imagine. I could not imagine that a, at a place like this exists. I cannot imagine that. And these people don't really know me that well. I mean, I've, I've been been there a few times, and, and they know Dad. And they're like, well, of course you wouldn't like that place. You're polite. Oh, well, well thank you. <laughs> I was like, I was quite flattered. Um... But that was just, that was just the, that was just the cupcake. That was just a cupcake, or a mini cupcake for the day of nice people. I mean, I just, I said the other day that I don't have faith in humanity, and what, what happens? No faith in humanity, and then all of humanity comes out. So weird, so weird. Uh, the lunch was not that great, oh my gosh, I, I... We split a tenderloin, because this place is a humongous tenderloin, so we split that. And we had, like, uh, bacon, cheddar fries, like, loaded fries, and had some garlic garlic bread with it. I don't know. We were hungry, I guess. Regretted it. Oh, I'm still sort of regretting it. It was so heavy in my stomach, and it was just absolutely dreadful. Uh, we're not doing that again. I'm sticking with wraps, because wraps are lovely. Absolutely lovely. And I don't feel like I just ate a bunch of McDonald's. Because that's exactly how I feel. I feel like this big rock in my stomach when I eat McDonald's. I can't even eat that place anymore. It's, dread it's just awful. I can't stand it. But yeah, it was just nice people all day. Uh, getting out of work and attempting to go do a deposit um, for my check. Right, Get Getting paid today. Woohoo, payday! And there's two little girls on bikes and they're riding like right towards me where I'm trying to go and it's kind of a narrow area and so I kind of like turning really slow because I don't want to you know I don't want to hit them obviously uh, unless they kicked my dog if I had a dog then I might be like <laughs> run them down I'm just kidding I would never do that and so I was like I kind of they finally made a decision where they're going to go they're going to go to the right of me I was like okay good now I can drive but I kind of like just nodded you know, not I just kind of do that with everybody that I pass by, and I, didn't, I don't I don't expect much out of kids. I just don't really care for kids, so I don't expect much out of them in this uh, in the light of politeness. And 
this little girl, the other one didn't, but the the fir, the front one, the one that was closest to me, she nodded back like a human being. What? What? That just shocked the hell out of me. This little girl actually had the decency to nod back like, hey, thanks, you know, kind of like a, I see you there, little girl, please, get out of my way, you know, in a nice way, right? And she nods back like, oh, thank you, sir, for not hitting and killing me today. You're welcome, little girl, you're welcome. Your parents raised you right. And uh, quite surprisingly at that. Uh, so... To finish this video up really quickly, I uh, went to a local festival because all the other years they had delicious turtle soup. Uh, just fantastic turtle soup. No turtle soup. None. None at all. Burgers, brats, and hot dogs like every other 4th of July normalness. <sighs> so disappointing. That's all, that's all I went. I mean, I was even going to play some bingo, but I was so upset. There was no turtle soup. The whole reason I made the trip. Not that it's that far, but... It's the damn principle of the matter. Yeah. But I never feel good about going to those festivals because I always go alone. And you just you get... There's two, there's two scenarios that almost always happy, happen to me when I go to a festival by myself, I either run into some friends, and then I feel like a bother, because I kind of ran into them, and they're all doing stuff, usually they've got somebody with them, so it's like now I'm the third, fifth, seventh, ninth wheel, whatever, and I don't I don't like to bother people like that, so I just like, oh well, I guess I'll catch you guys later, and you walk, I walk away, and then I run into them, again and again and again. So I looked like the douchebag because I kind of walked away. So it's like they, like they actually didn't care that I was there, and now I'm having like this massive anxiety attack in my head. Like, ah, I must avoid them. <laughs> uh, or the second thing that usually happens is they ask the stupid question I'm so used to now, but it still aggravates me just a just just a smidge, just a smidge. Oh, who are who are you here with? Uh, nobody. I came by myself. Why not? I came alone. Is that such a big deal? I couldn't find anyone to go with is usually what I either say or I kind of insinuate, right? And it's like, well, that's sad. Yeah, it's so awful being alone. Yeah, not really, guys. Come on. It's not that bad to go there. I just... I well, my bill is lower at the end of the night because I usually end up leaving early because I don't want to stick around. Half the bands suck and the food is mediocre at best. So, yeah, so that's that was my Friday. It was a very busy Friday. I mean, I don't do much, so this time of year, I just it gets awfully busy, awfully busy. Uh, so I've got a thing to go to tomorrow, and I will talk about that if anything actually interesting happens. Um, it's a little farmer's picnic thing, and uh, there's always a flea market stuff around, so I'm gonna take some cash along and see if I can find any goodies. If I do, and they're actually decent and worth sharing, I will share them with you, of course, because you guys are amazing. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.